so about two years ago, we just had a revelation in our family that we decided we weren't going to be afraid to go to different places because we had kind of gotten in a rut of traveling only to the beach or only to certain places where we felt comfortable and in we, the US. in the United States yeah. and we kept seeing the same things over and over and all of a sudden we just had a decision that we were not ever going to go to the same place twice for a while and um, in the past two years my family of four which, which is my children who are now 14 and 16 um, we have gone to Austria, Germany, Great Britain, France, Italy, Switzerland, the Netherlands. We visited Germany another time, and um, I think that's oh I th gosh, and now that's Northern like Ireland. That, and that's over ten. We've been to Ireland now and Northern Ireland now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, just because we just got it that there's no time like the present to take advantage of just seeing as many things as we can before our children go off to college and start their own lives. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world. Discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, let's go see the world. Hey, hello, it's Laura from the Midlife Traveler podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are in Ireland exploring Ireland through the voices, the stories, and the opinions of locals who live there and travelers who've been there. And today you are going to hear the story of the Mitchells from Chattanooga, Tennessee, who I had the pleasure of meeting on a trip in Belfast and Northern Ireland, where they allowed me to be the fifth wheel on their Belfast political tour, and we had the opportunity to talk outside of the Titanic Museum in Belfast before we visited Giant's Causeway. So this is a story about families, it's about parents, it's about travel, and honestly, it's about any person who thinks and wonders, how much time do we have left with each other to enjoy each other? And, and that's kind of what the Mitchells felt and what Kim and Brian Mitchell felt when their kids were teenagers and they realized they were living sort of the same vacation experiences over and over again. And that time was slipping away, and pretty soon their kids would be off at college and moved out of the house. So they decided, let's have some new experiences. Let's go abroad, let's see the world together, and try not to visit the same place twice. And on that path to family travel experiences, somewhere along the way, the Mitchell family from Chattanooga, Tennessee, ended up on a tour bus in Northern Ireland with me and as the odd wheel out on a Belfast political taxi tour they were so kind to let me join their taxi tour and afterwards we spent the afternoon together and enjoyed the rest of the tour day and I know that as you're going to hear today even though the Mitchells have explored almost 10 countries together in their first two years since they decided to value travel experiences over things, that in the six months since we've seen each other, I have no doubt <laughs> that they are planning something spectacular for their spring break this year. So I hope you enjoy this story. And if you're a parent who's wondering if maybe you should take time and investment to spend travel experiences with your kid just just listen to the mitchells and then decide for yourself thanks so much and enjoy the story so this is laura with the a midlife traveler podcast i am standing at the i think we're at the titanic belfast tourist attraction which i have not gone into instead we had a choice political black taxi tour or titanic museum 
I chose Political Black Taxi Tour and so did the people I'm with. It's a very nice family from Tennessee. Four of them, they allowed me to be their fifth wheel. And I'd like them to introduce themselves and just tell us about your, your trip, where you've been so far, a bit about why you chose Ireland and anything you feel like saying about your trip. All right, so I'm Brian Mitchell. We're from around Chattanooga, Tennessee. We came to Ireland as a trip because uh, we'd been here 21 years ago and decided to come back to see this side of Ireland. Just as amazing to see after growing up all through the 70s and 80s and 90s and what the changes are. And this was a good opportunity to get to hear it from firsthand someone that was from Belfast during those times. The wall was really impactful. Very much so. And getting to see the divide between the Catholics and Protestants, it was quite interesting. And how things are, are just so much different now. So you're here with your whole family, right? Yeah, there are four of us. I've got my son, my daughter. When we came back before, we'd only been married a year. Now we've got extras. <laughs> so is this your first time in Ireland? Tell us about your trip so far. I'm Lydia Mitchell, and I'm 15. And we're all from Tennessee. So. Nice. Yes, I've never been to Ireland before, and I'm really liking it so far. And I'm excited about going to the Giant's Causeway and learning about the history of Ireland and between the Protestants and the Catholics. I'm really liking it so far. It's got a lot of culture and history, and it's really neat. Was there any highlight of the Belfast tour today for you? Probably seeing the big painting, the mural across the wall outside the flour mill. That was really pretty. Mm -hmm. And getting to go across from the Catholic part to the Protestant and hearing about the differences. That was probably my highlight so okay. far. Okay, so your daughter's very cultural. I thought for a split second she was going to say the Justin Bieber story. No, no. <laughs> she does the history. <laughs> no, I wasn't too much interested in that, but I thought it was pretty cool. But I could not see it with all the other signatures yeah. that are on there. Right. So you guys, did you take the kids out of school? Uh, no, we're on fall break. So uh -oh. a fall break? Yeah, we uh -huh. get a fall break, uh, as well as a spring break, and we take advantage of it to travel and, and show the kids things. And um, I'm Kim Mitchell, and we came here from Tennessee, and we were trying to show the kids different parts of the world. So Ireland was something that we had done a, a little over 20 years ago, and it was so different when we came all those years ago our parents now, we, warned us not to come up here how? did you just go to different well, areas we or did you come west, up here to, to yeah, Belfast we went to the western coast because okay. at the time that we came here it was considered too dangerous to come up to the northern area so because that would have been the late 1990s yeah that you would have been up 96. here 96, 96. And it was still a dangerous time, and even the year that we were here, there was some sort of uh, yeah, there was a, bombing a, a, a or policeman murdered over in uh, Limerick. Yeah, oh, so while we were happened. there that week, and then there was a bombing too. So you know, for things to have changed this much in these few years, yeah, it, it's, it's quite impressive. I mean, you think changing that much in 20 years, right? I think possibly anything can happen. So safe enough to bring your yeah, children. Bring yeah. children. Yeah. So we actually also have with me a fellow Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> I'm Evan Mitchell, and uh, I'm really excited to be here in Ireland. It's been awesome, and uh, yeah, I hope that to meet some some person from Game of Thrones. <laughs> now, wow. you, you guys are the ones that told me. Someone told you they're filming a giant's causeway. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and at the visa office was we came through the when they were checking our yeah, passports. The passport yeah, the passport guy. So I know that we're going there, but I'm. I have no idea what to expect. We're, well, I don't we're, know if anyone. He said he, that people have been reporting back to him that there had actually been filming um, it's on location. It's kind of rainy, so they might not be filming, but they. Unless they there. want a rainy scene, but they've got plenty to choose from. Yeah. I mean, even if it's just like from that far away and you barely see it on your on your camera later, that would just be a cool thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. So Tyrion Lannister. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Tyrion's fantastic. His personality. So where else have you been, or are you going on your Irish? We're yeah. headed to the Cliffs of Mower, and oh, so that's we're excited about that um, Wednesday. Is that with the same tour company? We don't know. Well, we're we we're not did all sure. the arrangements before. You know what? So I did my tours by uh, Viator.com, which ends up feeling kind of like an arranged marriage because you don't know what you're getting until exactly. you get the confirmation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I had three different tours I booked, and they came in from three different tour companies. Right. And I've had completely three different experiences. One was... Uh, 
probably wouldn't recommend that tour company. It's all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I and mean, it's like pizza. You're on a bad, a bad tour, it's still pretty good. Yeah, you still got but, to eat, but it yeah. wasn't Yeah. These guys are great. Their buses so. are comfortable. Yeah. So we're on Wild Rover. Yeah, right? Wild yes. Rover. Um, yeah. Extreme Ireland is who I was with yesterday. Okay. And it was Wasn't a we small on? mini bus, oh. mm-hmm. and it was a one-day Celtic history tour. Uh, Mist we might fog. be doing that. I think we're doing that tomorrow. Oh, and if you go to, there's Carnes. They're like 5,000 years old. Oh, and yeah. you, you get to go inside underneath, and you have to crouch down and go through this deep dark. There's hieroglyphics in there, and it's oh. complete darkness. Wow. So you're in there, and they give you a little flashlight, and you're going, oh. It, it's, you feel the yeah. play. It's beautiful, but you also feel it. I hope that is what you guys end up doing because it was really, really yeah, good. I, I think so. we do. We're, we've got something like that, but you, like you said, you don't really know yeah. exactly what it's going to be. Yeah, like. they had like three different ones that were all sounding similar, and I just went, we oh, okay. Well, and we also had to one. choose according to the day that we had available. Yeah, yeah. and we're going to go down to uh, oh, Whitlow. 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 Yeah, it's, it's just, it's the gardens of Ireland. Yeah, there's a, a mansion or castle i don't know it's not really a castle but it's called powers court powers court and it's in wicklow county in wicklow county is called the garden of ireland and it's got a national park and lots of lakes and mountains and sheep and and you kind of do your own thing so now you've heard the story of the mitchell family from chattanooga tennessee and their family Ireland vacation during fall break. If you're curious about any of the locations that they talked about or visited, if you visit our website at amidlifetraveler.com, we will have a list of some of the areas and some suggested tour activities that you can look at in case you're deciding on taking your vacation or a family vacation in Ireland. We're going to close out this episode with words from Kim Mitchell and why they decided to go ahead and focus on the teenage years as the time when they would prioritize shared family experiences. Okay, so tell me again about your family travels. You, you yes. talk about the experiences over things and the places you've gone? Yes, so about two years ago, we just had a revelation in our family that we decided we weren't going to be afraid to go to different places because we had kind of gotten in a rut of traveling only to the beach or only to certain places where we felt comfortable and in we the US. in the United States yeah. and we kept seeing the same things over and over and all of a sudden we just had a decision that we were not ever going to go to the same place twice for a while and um, in the past two years my family of four which which is my children who are now 14 and 16 um, we have gone to Austria, Germany, Great Britain, France, Italy, Switzerland, the Netherlands. We visited Germany another time, and um, I think that's oh I th- gosh, and now that's Northern like Ireland. And that's, that's over 10. We've been to Ireland now and Northern Ireland now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, just because we just got it that there's no time like the present, and yeah. we wanted to take advantage of just seeing as many things as we can before our children go off to college and start their own lives. So as, you know, mother to mother, because I, I have a son and, you know, I have done some, have similar philosophies, don't you feel like it kind of changes the conversation or the dynamic a bit? So instead of all the conversations being, oh, get your shoes on, we're running late, or what do you want for dinner, we're late for practice, you're in a whole new culture, a whole new experience, yeah. and you get to have an extra to see how other places are and how other people do things it opens your mind up a little bit it absolutely does it absolutely does well your story is inspirational yeah how long has it taken you to get over those Uh, 10 countries you said two years ago three years ago about two we've we've gone a lot (laughs) (laughs) but um yeah we've you know it might i know some of our friends think think we're crazy but um we we just decided we wanted to get as much as we could done because I feel like I'm on a timeline with my children yeah. growing up. Well, because you, know? you are. We yeah. are on our timelines, yeah. right? Yeah, once college starts, they'll be busy and have their own things. 